Hi friends! Today is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, and I'm going to make a little bit of dinner. We just went out and got our flu shots today and uh, at Walgreens, and uh, then I ran over to Walmart and picked up a couple of things. I should show you a little bit of what I got. Wanted to do a project with you coming up. So I have some sure gel, so I picked that up. This weekend we're having a little get together and we're going to use the fire pit. So I have some marshmallows already and graham crackers. I just didn't have Hershey bars, so I grabbed some of those. Birthday cards. I got a few birthday cards for birthdays this month. My Rowenta is continuously uh, leaking water. So I went ahead and just got a cheap one. This was like 20 bucks at Walmart Hamilton Beach. And maybe a cheaper one will do it. I'm not sure, but I'm tired of the leaking. So we'll see. Maybe we'll end up replacing that one too. Uh, oh, and then we have a drawing today. So let me do that. And then I'll get on with cooking. We had uh, a giveaway uh, for some candlesticks, napkin rings, and uh, napkins for fall decor. And so I have all the names in a top hat that Brucey had. And uh, actually I got this for him for, uh, we're going to a murder mystery party and he is the showman. It's a uh, circus theme. So uh, I will just draw uh, a random name out of that. And this is for the candlesticks. Elizabeth Thass. And for the napkin rings. Tinker Blue. And for the dinner napkins, Patricia Ann da Davio. Davio? I'm sorry if I'm saying these names wrong. So please send me your mailing addresses and I will get these items to you via Amazon. And if you are not in the US, then I will send you an Amazon gift card. Okay, so this weekend, uh, on Sunday, I cooked a turkey. I had a big turkey in the freezer and I thought, I'm gonna take that out and cook that. So, because this week our butcher box uh, order is due and that has our turkey for Thanksgiving, our holiday uh, turkey, and two holiday hams. So the ham, uh, two spiral hams, one is for the, our Christmas party and the other is for Christmas. So I wanted to be sure to get those in the, you know, place those orders. And so we'll receive those this week and I will get them in the freezer. But meanwhile, I cooked the turkey up and then uh, we had friends over for dinner. And whatever turkey was left, uh, Brucey put some in a to-go bag for them, to-go container. And then, uh, so I had a little bit left. And I thought, I'm gonna make a casserole and I'll show you how, to, how I'm doing the casserole. And then with all the scraps that were left over, all the bones, I just threw it into back into the oyster and I just let it cook. So this is the oyster pan. I put in a couple of carrots, a few ribs of celery, a whole onion and all of the bones and any scraps that I had left over. And I filled it with water and I just let it cook down. And then the next day I took all of the uh, material out. So all that was left was this beautiful broth. And then I put a strainer in on top of the funnel, filled all of the jars and then wiped down the lids, the uh, rims with vinegar. And then I put the lids on with the rings and did it finger tight. Of course, I left an inch clearance headspace on top of the jars. Now I'm filling uh, 
well, putting a couple inches of water into the uh, pressure canner. Once I bring that up to temperature, I let it vent for 10 minutes. I put the t uh, weight on for 10 pound weights for my uh, altitude. You'd have to check for your altitude. And then I let that get up to pressure. And I go at 10 pounds of pressure for 25 minutes. It is a different time frame for whatever it is you're cooking. For broth, it is 25 minutes. Once the timer has gone off, after 25 minutes, turn the stove off and let it just sit there until the pressure gauge reaches zero. Then I can remove the weight and release the remainder of the, the uh, steam. And then I'm uh, able to open the lid and I just leave the jars sitting for hours until the water is completely cooled. There's no need for me to take it out of the canner right away. I just let it sit in the water. Then I remove the jars from the canner. I leave them on a towel in the on the kitchen counter and I usually cover them as well and I just let them sit there for a good 24 hours. Then I'll wash the jars, label them and put them in the cabinet. Uh, I usually remove the rings that way you can tell if something goes wrong with them then uh, you'll be able to detect uh, the issue if the ring is removed. And this is my kit back here for the Vaseline. is for sealing the lid on the canner because they're, this is a gasket-free canner, an all-American canner. And so you want to make sure you have a good seal and then that's the weight down below. Six jars that of uh, Turkey broth. So what I want to do is make a casserole with you using my leftover turkey. So you can use any poultry, ham, any kind of meat that you want to. I have a package of egg noodles that I made up. So I'm going to, they're still hot. So I'll put one in the freezer for uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law that are moving here. So they're moving the, here this weekend. So they've closed on their home, which is probably about a half a mile from us. So I'm so excited to see them. Two containers. One is a disposable container so they don't have to, you know, wash it and return it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I took a cup of mayonnaise and I mixed it in with the egg noodles. And I'm going to just give the uh, dishes that I have prepared uh, a little bit of a spray. Then I'll divide the egg noodles with between the two pans. I hard boil eight eggs and I'll take four and dice them up, put two in each pan. And then these four I'll put in a bowl and put in the refrigerator. I will just shell them underwater. Dice these eggs up and I'll add them to my casserole. Oh, here's the one pan. So I'll just add the eggs. And the other pan, I'll just add those. Now Brian and Carrie won't arrive until next uh, until Saturday, I believe, either Friday or Saturday. So I'll pop this in the freezer for them. Now for the chicken, or turkey in this case, I'll go ahead and dice the meat and put, uh, divide it equally. I think a cup of meat is plenty. Added some meat to this. Now I have the two containers. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I want to add a package of peas. These are just some frozen peas. Top it with a can of mushroom soup. I'd like to congratulate the winners of the fall giveaway. That was my first giveaway and hopefully it'll be one of many. I'll top it with a little bit of cheese. Put it in the oven, 350 for about 20 minutes or until it's bubbly. And then this one, I have a little lid that I'm going to put in there. It just says turkey casserole, bake at 350 for 20 minutes or until bubbly. 
I'm going to add a little cheese onto this. This is going to be full. It'll be a nice pan for them, though. And they're just getting here and wanting to get unpacked and settled and, you know, probably have a hot dish, but at least they'll have something in the freezer that they can just pop in the oven. So perfect. So this is to give to family. And then the other one, Brucey and I will have for dinner tonight. Congratulations again to the winners of the giveaway. The information will be in the description box. Hope you are all having a beautiful day. I love you all, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.